What's up, guys? Happy Monday or Tuesday or whatever day you're watching this day. Happy that day. Because if you think about it, we're living in a world where you can actually watch this three years from now and it could be a Sunday. So for me, it's Monday, but for you, it's another day. That's crazy, right? Anyways, let me get to this, right? Just pulled into the gym. I'm about to work out. I'm about to put in work, push myself through physical obstacles that could transfer out to be mental obstacles, so on and so forth, right? It's a big part of my day, a big part of my journey, but it's not the biggest part of my journey, and that's why I'm stopping for right now for this moment to share that. What you don't see is that this is actually like the sixth video. Um, I've done like... I've done like, I've probably been here for about an hour sitting in my car, getting different angles and just trying this approach a little bit differently, trying to find my tone and not not feeling it and take six, maybe there'll be a take seven, maybe there won't be, but let me get to this, right? Because that's what this is about. I'm taking a moment to detach myself from the physical part because most of my videos to this point it's like a physical montage of some of the obstacles that I put myself through, some of the learning experiences that I put myself through to share. And there's a there's a reason for that, right? Like what that comes down to, this is a journey, guys. This is something I'm looking for. And what I'm doing right now is looking for this like blend of how I'm going to approach my goals, how I'm going to approach my dreams to help and support you. It's like I'm still a teacher. Namely, like I think about these two things, right? Right now, this is like a lecture. This is like, hey, listen to me. There's something I, sh I have to share that I think you might want to listen to so that you may apply it later on in the actual homework, right? And then there's the other part, which is like the the visual part, the the hands-on thing for me, where I'm actually going in and I'm trying to depict some of these things that I'm actually looking for mentally uh, and applying them so that you can actually like get a visual representation of what I'm actually talking about. For instance, right now I'm not concentrating on the amount I'm lifting, I'm concentrating on movement, how to express myself differently, mobility, all these terms that I'll one day do a video on, but not yet, I'm not, I'm not to that point yet. So I'm still in teacher mode, audio learner. Maybe some of you are like, wow, like this is a person speaking to me and like you feel what I'm doing versus seeing what I'm doing. And the idea is to make a, a connection between the two. When I was coaching, I remember that we had practice the next day or, you know, we had a game and ultimately I, I took in all the variables that I wanted to pass on and, and it was a hybrid. It was a mix of both visual, uh, no, sorry, physical and a, a, a mental game, right? So when I was training and, and I understood the game of volleyball, I understood you had to jump higher to, to get a better hit. and. I would go in the gym and I would I would physically put myself through some of these things I had to do to actually jump higher. Because when I went to practice and I was asking the, the young ladies and young men to jump higher, it wasn't gonna be enough to, to tell them this is what I read in a book, right? Like it wasn't gonna be enough to be like, hey, somebody told me this. I had to feel what it was like to actually want to overcome the fear that you might fall. And when I had that and when I experienced it, it just made it that much better for me to express to people. And that's just one example of something that I feel could be like a mesh of what I'm actually going after uh, to, to experience some of the, the things that I want to share so that I can share them better. Um, and that transfers into a classroom as well. For example, if you ask somebody to give everything to give you everything they have, all the effort, and you're not giving that back? For me, it was like, mm, I need to reconsider what I'm talking about. How could I ask you to pursue and chase and, and, and go after your dream and not go after mine? Which brings me to this. It's not about me. Trinity, shout out, uh, 
some of you don't know Trinity, so that may, that name probably means nothing to you, but I do. It means something to me. Trinity Cologne sent me a message this morning, um, and it almost brought me to tears, right? Because, Trinity, you reminded me of what I'm doing. And for all of us, it's easy to forget that because we go through certain things in life that I don't really always share, but doubts and insecurities. And when you share that message that, to summarize for everybody, I am showing people what it, what, what it looks like to go after something and, and, and relentlessly not giving up on it. But to connect that to what I'm talking about, that's the reason that I'm actually following through with it, right? The support I got, that one message that Trinity sent me is fuel. Why do you keep going? Where do you find the energy? Like, I don't find it. I get it. You know, like I am inspired by a 15 year old, which most, I hope, I'm not saying most, but some adults might have closed off to think that somebody younger than me can be inspirational. Yes. Yes. Like, why not? Why, why close my mind to the fact that somebody younger can offer me something because of my ego? Because I, I think that age and, and experience, like people who say like, oh, you're only 14, you don't know what love feels like. People who say like, oh, you're only 15, you haven't been through life and you don't know. Like, no, dude, you can be 15, you can be 16, 17, and you could have went through some pretty hard stuff that I can't even understand. And that's inspirational I have a, a player I won't say your name but if you're watching this you know what I'm talking about like I cried with you when you told me that your mom passed away from cancer right like I felt it and and for me to give you the words to overcome that I couldn't but you were there for me and I was there for you right and and that's what I'm talking about just these small experiences that that we, we tend to take away from these young adults, from you guys, that you do have something to offer the world. You do have experiences. You are inspirational. You do matter. You can go change the world. And it's not something I'm saying because it's fluffy. It's something I'm saying because it's true. And that's what pushes me to actually follow through with what I'm doing. The fact that you inspire me, the messages you give me, the support, the love, the appreciation, that's what keeps me going. I want to give one more example before I go and I put in my work. Last week, there was a volleyball game at Washington and I was overcome by all these emotions when I went in. I talked to the principal, he asked me how things were going and I, I was a little sad when I talked to him, but like, I wanted to be there, you know, in, in person, not just in spirit. Great game, the girls played their butts off. They, oh man, girls Washington volleyball, all day, let's go. Anyways, um, great game, a lot of people I talk to and a lot of examples I can use to talk about this, but I wanna hone in on one and that is a conversation with Daisy Guerrero. Daisy, I wanna give you a shout out because I felt it, right? Like I was Daisy's teacher, sophomore year. Um, I can tell you where you sat, I can tell you what period, I can tell you what classroom. And I can tell you that there were several moments where you said a few encouraging words to me that helped me get through that breakup. Do you guys remember that? Who was there for that? Hector Patino, my breakup and all those sad moments. And I would go in and I would teach and I would be like, yeah, we should learn. But I was low key sad on the inside. But I was fighting through it because of you guys. Anyways, Daisy, the talk, the talks that we had, the conversation that we had this past Thursday, it was just something that reminded me that you're still a part of my life, that there's still a connectedness between us and, and so many other people that never left. And you may have forgotten that, that I appreciate you. You may have forgotten that, that I'm, I'm still here rooting for you, that I'm still hoping that you're overcoming your obstacles and that you find what your heart's telling you to go after. And that 45 minute conversation was something that I don't get to vlog about. I don't, I don't show those conversations, but they are what keeps me going. They are the, the source of this fuel that I have that, that just reminds me that this isn't about me. That if I quit, it's like I'm kind of subliminally giving you a message that it's okay to quit. And it's like Inky Johnson said, I'll close it up with this. Quitting becomes a habit 
that doesn't just affect you, but it affects everybody that's in your life. And your kids, your family, your wife, like people who are looking at you. Don't quit, guys. Keep going, persevere, and ultimately that's what this message is about, is to take a moment to remind you of that, that this isn't about you, just like this video isn't about me. This is about us, this is about the love, the support, the appreciation that we're getting from each other and pushing through this together. Love all of you, so many people in my life, thanks again. If you guys appreciate this, if you think that this was something I should do more often, I don't know that it has anything to do with it, but maybe giving me a comment on the bottom and just saying, hey, thanks for the talk, I used it, or sharing something that you might want me to speak on, whether it's a heartbreak that I kind of briefly talked about, whether it is, you know, drama with friends, whatever, like, I've been through some of it. Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to share this, I mean, go, I mean, it won't hurt. With that said, guys, about to go apply this whole mindset thing in the gym. Have a good day. All right, guys, we out here on back and biceps, hitting hypertrophy, which is essentially muscle building and muscle conditioning. Going for the bent over row, five sets of 12. Let's go. So just remember, guys, it's not about the amount of weight you do, it's about trying to engage the workout with the proper form and get the exact muscles you're actually trying to target. So this, this is going for the lower back, puff my chest, find my feet, and pull. Cool. 